Well, I feel really stupid. Really, really stupid. This is the second time recording this. It's not. It's the first time recording this. This is the second time that I have made this video. Because I got... Ooh, a good 10 minutes into talking to the camera before the camera switched off. And I realised I hadn't pressed the record button. I'd gone to press record. I had slipped. I hadn't caught the record button. It didn't say record at the top. I didn't catch it. I should have been paying attention. It tells me when it's recording. I know when it's recording. So, um, I'm going to have to repeat myself. Which is really frustrating. <laughs> oh... I have no excuses. I have no excuses. Anyway, welcome to the channel. This is a book tag. Um, it is the To Die For book tag. And um, it's it's a book tag that uh, it should be relatively uh, easy and quick to get out. Um, at least it would have been if I hadn't uh, recorded it once without actually pressing the record button. So, uh, the, uh, the concept is that you name five books that you don't own that you would like to own. That's the, it's a very simple concept. Now, I'm going to take it a step further and I'm going to go to specific editions of books. Now, I am going to say now, these are all going to be editions from two very specific places, and that is the Folio Society and Eastern Press. And there is a reason for this. If you've watched my bookshelf tour, uh, which part one is, uh, is up already, uh, you'll know that I have been upgrading my library into nice collector editions, leather bounds and cloth bounds, uh, illust illustrated collector editions, that kind of thing. So that's what I'm trying to go for. Now, the five books that I'm going to be adding, I'm going to cheat just a little bit on this. Uh, they are, like I say, all from these two places because I've put myself on a bit of a book buying ban. I don't want to be buying more books because I own hundreds of books and I've not read most of them. Um, more than half of them are unread and I need to get round to reading what I already own because uh, it's just getting silly. So until I've read the majority of what I own, I'm not buying new books. But I am replacing the books that I do like with better editions because I like them to be a reflection of who I am as a reader and my tastes, my personality. So that's what I like my collector's editions, the books on display, to represent for me. So, given that, what books would I want to own that I don't currently? Well, first things first, I'm going to get the obvious one out of the way. I already own A Game of Thrones from Folio Society. And I already own the little uh, leather bounds um, of the entire set of A Song of Ice and Fire, which... Um, I have upstairs. I haven't shown them off yet, but I will at some point. Uh, they are nice enough books. Uh, they're kind of like little Bibles um, in the style, you know, the little uh, portable Bibles. Uh, it's very, very thin paper, very tiny, very uh, floppy leather, lovely for travelling with, bit of a pain to read from. The text is very small, the pages are very, uh, are very delicate, and I suspect that if you read them more than a couple of times, they'd probably fall apart. Um, I don't think they're overly sturdy. Um, they're nice enough to have though, and uh, they're not overly expensive given that uh, given that you get the whole set, and every single book is only a single volume, which is nice. They're compact. They are easily the best way to travel with one of the Song of Ice and Fire books, unless you include eBooks. And if you want to read from a physical book, like I prefer to read from a physical book, these are the best option. But if you're reading at home, something like the Folio Society books far outstrip them. And I only have the first one. I would like to have the whole set. Whole set would be expensive. They are somewhere in the region of £160 now. I think they may have even gone up more than that now. They keep going up. Uh, I've noticed the Folio Society prices are going up every few months. They're, they're inching up and up by a fiver here, a fiver there. Uh, and in the time that I have acquired my first Folio book... They have gone up by around 15 to 20 quid per book now. So what was 150 is probably 170 or 175. Something along those lines. Which means that to get the entire uh, Song of Ice and Fire collection now, 
uh, that I, I would need four additional books. I'm probably looking at around six to seven hundred pound for the rest of the collection. That is a hell of a lot of money to drop on these things. I don't have that kind of money, so obviously I don't own the books. So that's that's my first my first entry in this tag. Second one, very similar. It's going to be another series. This time, Eastern Press. Now, I did try to buy the first one from this series. However, Eastern Press, uh, there's a, another reason why I can't get anything from Eastern Press, and that is that um, they don't deliver to the UK. They say they do, but they don't. Um, if you go to Eastern Press's website, they say that they deliver to other countries outside of the USA, but they actually have licensing uh, issues. So I think it's only very specific, license-free works that they can actually transport outside of the US. So if you're in the UK and you're trying to buy from Eastern Press, the vast majority of their library is just unavailable to you. And that includes the books I wanted, which was The Enders Saga by Orson Scott Card. Ender's Game is one of my absolute favourite sci-fis, and I would have loved to have that whole saga, um, the original saga and Ender's Shadow as well. Uh, they're all available in these really nice, really elegant looking leather bounds. They would make really go a really gorgeous display on one of my shelves. Um, I'd probably need a whole new shelf unit if I had all of the leather bounds I wanted. Um, but they would be gorgeous and definitely a front and centre display for me. There's no way I'm going to be able to get them, though. There's that. There's going to be at least five books that I want there. Um, possibly more, depending on how far into this I wanted to go and how many of them are available. I know that the original Ender Saga, which is four books, is going to be available and Ender Shadow is going to be available. Um, so that's five books already, and they're around $80 each. They might be a bit more than that, even. So already we're looking at $400 minimum and that's without getting them over here remember that they don't deliver to the uk so i'm gonna to have to find some third party that can somehow get them to me and then i'm gonna to have to probably pay exorbitant amounts of shipping to get them out here which means i'm probably never going to be able to get hold of these um they may well end up similar in price to the uh, song of ice and fire series and that's a shame, because uh, it's the only way that you can get a, uh, a decent collector's edition of the Ender Saga. I haven't found any other leather bounds or collector's editions of the series ever. It's the only one I can see. So, th those are the two big series out of the way. And they are just so pricey that they, they're, they're priced right out of the market. The other three that I don't own and want. The next two are affordable and possible to get or at least they would be if they were still in print and that is Brave New World by Aldous Huxley and Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury both of these books are from Folio Society both of them are out of print I would have loved to get them they look gorgeous they are two books that I adore and I would love to have them on my shelf. They would go really, really well with some of the other books that I've got on my shelf. I, I would delight in being able to display these. And I, I can't. I haven't got any way of getting them because they're out of print. I could you know, go, go on to eBay and things like that and try to get them secondhand. But I've, I've looked and trying to get hold of the pr this specific print. I'll put the picture up. This specific print of Fahrenheit 451 uh, on eBay, you just can't find it. You can get this silver uh, print of uh, Brave New World, uh, but this print of Brave New World, you just can't find this either. It, it's just, it doesn't exist on the likes of eBay. So these were very, very limited, or whoever's got them is keeping hold of them. So... I would love to get hold of them, unless Folio Society is prepared to reprint them. I'm likely never going to, and that's a, that's that's a pity. So, what next? Well, there's there's more from Eastern Press I'd like to get. There's a few uh, collected editions from Eastern Press that look really nice. Um, I would like to look at getting something like Moby Dick. Um, Possibly uh, the Count of Monte Cristo. Um, I'm unsure about that because I don't do not know which translation it is. 
And you cannot find out. It doesn't say anywhere on the website. No one's covered it on YouTube. There is no way of knowing what the translation to this edition of Count of Monte Cristo is. If it's the correct translation, I'd be interested in it. But if it's the wrong translation, I don't want it. So it's one of those where I don't know if I want it. It's Schrodinger's book. Uh, so that's that's an interesting one for me. Like Moby Dick is another one that um, that I would like to get from Eastern Press. There's a few others that have been interesting, but the Count of Monte Cristo is another one that um, I've looked at and gone, hmm, intriguing. Um, so th there are a few more from Eastern Press, but one that I would really like to get, and I don't know if it even exists, and that is that I would like to get a copy of War and Peace, but I want to get a very specific translation. And you you can almost never get it. Now I've got the paperback of this translation. I'm going to show the picture of it here. Right? And no one uses this translation. But it is the translation that I have been reliably told is the best translation. And it's the one that I have been reading. So it's the one that I want to also have in a collector's edition. I don't want a different translation. I want the one that I will have experienced first in the collector's edition. I would like to see if I could get it. This is this is a dream book because this book, I can't even show you an image of this one. This one doesn't really exist. So that's my number four. The other Eastern Press ones are, are considerations, by the way. They're not really in my list. Um, and like I say, I've... This isn't really a five. Like I put two, I put two different folio books in my number, uh, my number, uh, my number three slot. So it's not really a, a top five um, list at all, is it? But this is my number four slot here, and that is some kind of copy of War and Peace that uses this translation. Um, now then. My number one book that I really want. And this was something that when the, this To Die For book tag first started, I knew this was going to be my number one. And I had it planned out because there is somewhere where you can get it printed on Etsy for a ridiculous amount of money. Like someone does like these bespoke prints where they leather bound, or where they do like a leather bound version where they back the book for you in leather and it's done by hand specifically to uh, to match the one from the film and I thought that's that'll do that'll be the best I can get because they're never going to make a proper special edition of this it's it's a niche book it's an old fantasy classic that no one but me really seems to care about but somewhere there's a very small fan community and there's some crafty person who's decided to do these handmade leather bounds that'll be enough and that's what I was going to put as my number one. And then this week, just as I was planning to make this video, Folio Society announced that they are releasing a fully illustrated, multicoloured, like uh, fully illustrated two colour collector's edition, anniversary edition of the never ending story. And it is definitely my number one wanted book it is on my list for for sure it is 80 pounds which is a lot of money to spend on one book it is however theoretically within my budget i could buy this book i can't buy it now but i could theoretically buy this book it would take me a couple of months of putting my my spare money aside it's unlikely to go out of print in that time which means I could put some money aside and after Christmas, when I no longer have quite so many expenses, in January I could probably get this book. And that is my intention. So on this list, I have books that I don't own and want. I have one book that I don't own and actively intend to buy. The Never Ending Story Folio Society Edition is my number one most wanted book. 
whilst I absolutely adore the A Song of Ice and Fire collection, it's just too expensive. I would love to also be able to say I'm going to buy that. Like, Never Ending Story and A Song of Ice and Fire are my two most favourite uh, fantasy stories. They, they just... They one of them is is my childhood exposure to fantasy, and one of them is my adult exposure to fantasy, and they both represent the books I want the most. That if I could only have two narratives on my shelf to to represent my reading tastes, it would be a, a collected edition of Never Ending Story and the complete collection of A Song of Ice and Fire. So that would be what I would have. I cannot ever, ever afford the A Song of Ice and Fire collection. It's just not going to happen. Um, but I do have the first one, and that's fine. And I have the collection in another form. I can put up with that. And let's face it, A Song of Ice and Fire is a popular enough series. It's probably one of their best selling. It is unlikely to go out of print anytime soon. Which means I can put them on the aside and slowly buy them one by one over the next year or so, or two. That's my hope. I sure as hell hope they do not go out of print before I manage to buy them all. But, that's my hope. The never-ending story, though, that's doable. I can do that. So, I'm going to wait until the end of the year, because obviously Christmas is coming up, and expenses have gone up. I'm not exactly made of money. But this is going to be my next big purchase. This one book. And that is the To Die For book tag. Five books that I don't own and want to own. Um, I'm not a fan of the title. They're not. They're not. They're not books to die for, because if you die, you can't read them. But they're definitely books I want to own. So, if you've if you've enjoyed this and you have books that you want to own and don't, perhaps uh, perhaps it'd be a good idea to let us know. I'm not going to tag anyone individually. Instead, I'm just going to say, if you're watching this video and it sounds fun and you want to do it, go ahead and do it. Um, consider yourself tagged. Uh, it's been around a long time, and the original uh, the original person who started the tag, um, they, they deleted their original video. Their channel's been wiped, so um, I'm not going to link back to their channel because they've wiped their channel anyway. Um, I'm not, I can't even remember what the channel name was. Uh, I, I wasn't tagged in this, uh, but at least two channels that I watch did what I've just done and have said, if this sounds interesting, do this tag. So I'm going to take that as me being tagged. So I'm going to follow with the tradition and say, if this sounds interesting, you haven't already done it, do this tag. Let us know what what is on your wish list. What books do you are you most excited to get get your hands on? You never know. Maybe, maybe someone will find it and you get a nice Christmas present at the end. You never know. It could happen. Right, well, this has been fun and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.